that's how important that follow-up is in that first week or two. So the big question is, what are top agents doing to absolutely crush it in real estate, grow their teams, and add more transactions year over year while so many struggle? To get the answers, we interview top real estate agents to learn their secrets to success. Listen, we believe every agent should make a minimum of $100,000 per year, and we're on a mission to make this happen. We've already helped over 100 agents achieve this with our coaching. So if you want to fast track your business growth, get to your first $100,000 in GCI or add another $100,000 in GCI using social strategies, then head over to go.eliteagentsecrets.com or you can just click the link in the description below. Also, just make sure to follow us, hit that subscribe button, and if you get any value from this at all, please tell a friend and leave us a review. My name is Andrew Dunn. And my name is Peter Michael. Welcome to Lead Agent Secrets. So when it comes to actually working your leads, getting the deals, this is going to roll us into your third topic here, which is a lot of people are getting leads, whether they're getting them, but paying for them, whether they're getting given them from teams, brokers, wherever they're coming from, whether they're generating them themselves, are complaining they don't convert. So we're heavy, heavy in the online lead generation space. Again, it's just what we love. It works for us. A lot of people, one of the common misnomers in with online lead generation, Facebook ads and stuff is they don't work, which we find utterly hilarious. They do work. If you don't think they work, it's not just not true. Um, I won't go on this too big a rant, but your third topic is about following up to get the deals. Like just keep it fucking simple, following up with calls, emails. So break down what your system looks like to get those people over the line and yeah, you know, walk us through whether it's a three month, six month process. Like how what does it look like for you and your team? For the follow up? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I think what's what I've learned in this bit and it blows my mind is how many real estate agents don't call you back. Like, <laughs> like how I don't know how you can be a realtor and just not return someone's phone call, whether it's a, usually it's co-op agents like all the time. And a lot of times it's like the really successful agents um, or you know, whatever, new, whatever it is. So my key and, and you, know, you can stress this to everyone. They may or may not listen to it, but this is what I do with my business. If there is an email in my inbox, no matter how many emails that I get to, I will acknowledge the fact, the same thing with the text. I will acknowledge the fact that I'm in receipt and I'll get back to you as soon as I have you know, free second. It's all about communication. Our, every, everything in life is all about communication, relationships, business, communication, one-on-one. Just let people know that you are in receipt of their message. You got their voicemail you're running around on appointments, but you will get back to them at your earliest availability. So with my emails, I'll typically try and you know sit down at night when my kids go to bed and just knock out as many emails as I can. Uh, I get anxiety with that stuff too, so it's probably not good. Like I'll lay in bed at night, like oh shit, I forgot to respond to this person, that person. So I don't know if my anxiety just makes me like do that, so I don't I don't have that lingering in my my brain. But um, you know, I'm, I'm and then same thing with text messages. I know that feeling. Yeah, man, like it's, <laughs> it's not a great feeling to have it, but it's just it's I, it's in my it's ingrained in me. Like I just have to get back to people, otherwise it's going to bother me if I don't. Um, same thing with met text, voicemails, and you know a lot of this is with co-op agents too. Yeah, you know, I'm out you're running around doing whatever, listing appointments, showing properties out with my kids. You get called nonstop, but you know. You don't have to answer it immediately. Just text the person back. Hey, I'm with clients. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. You know, just very, very simple communication skills go a very, very long way in building a successful business. Uh, when you are communicating with them, so you're saying, you know, you, you're following up quickly. Also, you know, it's not only about the first follow up is kind of what I want to talk about. There is this like continuous need to, to also stay in touch. Right. Or new lead. And yeah. This is where I think people would like, hopefully a little bit of direction from, from you where it's like you do, when you're doing 125 deals, like we, we say this all the time when working like four or five deals, it's like, it's already pretty chaotic feeling. Uh, so there is, there has to be a bit of a system to it to oh, keep yeah. on top of everybody. So walk us through a little bit of like your system for staying on top of everything besides, I know you, you know what you've just said. No. Yeah. So with, with new business coming in, I'm sorry to touch on that, but the CRM is everything. Like if you don't have a CRM and as a realtor, like, I don't know, you're not, you're never going to be able to keep track of all this. It's, it's impossible. Um, okay. There's a lingering question. What do you use? What does that look like? Uh, CRM? 
Yes, CRM wise. So, so that was one of the major reasons for going over to Compass. Not not you know I love Compass. I'm not, I'm not going to do like a plug for Compass, but their CRM is is top notch. So the Compass CRM, the Compass platform is absolutely incredible. Um, so I use the, the the one that Compass gives you for free. Love it. Got it. And then if, so you've built in. Have you built in like follow up sequences, text, email sequences, drip campaigns? You using automations sure. to help you? So I'm a, I'm not perfect with that. And um, but yeah, so Compass has a lot of the pre-templated ones built in where it's like just a weekly reoccurring follow-up. What I love is Compass has email templates ready to go. So if it's like a new lead, um, I'll just, you know, click a button, you know, two, two steps, click template, you know, checking in, how have you been? Haven't spoken to you in a while, sends out in like a second. So for me, my CRM is really, it's more of just a reminder of who I need to speak to. Like, you know, it, it's not as much about, you know, the action plans and the, and the drip campaigns, which I do. I mean, I do, I do a lot of that. It works well for like open houses and stuff. But for me, it's just like, you have to keep track of, of people you meet somehow or even like your current deals, like keeping track of what you have to do. And if you don't have a CRM, if you don't have some system you know, to remind you, I put a lot of stuff in my Google Calendar. I'll, I'll, I'll like do stuff twice. I'll have it in my CRM and also my Google Calendar so it doesn't slip through the cracks. And I'll probably have it written down on my desk somewhere. Um, but that, that CRM is, is so key to, to keep track of new deals. And then uh, you, you pretty much, and I'll tell this to my, the agents on my team, if you have a new lead, whether it's a Zillow, uh, especially Zillow, I, I would focus on that. If it's a Zillow lead, you need to reach out to that lead, phone, text, email, until they tell you to go fuck yourself. That's how important that follow-up is in that first week or two. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for driving that home. Because we are always blue in the face to say you either want a thumbs up or a middle finger. You don't care which one you get. Just give me one. Yeah, it's, it, that. that's internet leads. If it's a warm lead that was referred to you, you got to give it a little bit more slack. You don't be too aggressive, but like those internet leads, you really got to, you know, to put that. You got to work it, man. Yeah. But the thing is, is like, this is the point. You, it's a different system. It's a different process, which is why all the people who've just had referrals all their life can't do the internet leads thing. Cause it's just totally different and they need to learn this new, it's a totally new skill set, you know? And with the more modern younger agents are definitely more on board with that. Cause they don't want to do the cold calling and all that other stuff. So they they dive right in and it's like this is the nature of the beast. It's just a different way of doing it. And you're totally right. We we don't we know like the conversion rates of online liens. I mean, we've literally helped generate billions in transactions for clients and brokers all over the nation. Like we understand what the conversion rate is. It's anywhere from like one on the high end to three percent. That's about where you're at. You gotta, and you gotta you work on too. Like you can't email people. Like you got to actually call people like yeah. people don't want to pick up the phone. They're afraid to pick up the phone. Phone feels, yeah, a hundred, you know, a thousand pounds. And it's a, it's a nature of the beast, right? If you're in real estate and you're afraid to pick up a warm lead or someone that's actually filled out an application, with, if you are doing online lead generation, if they've come from Zillow or Redfin, or I don't know if you're doing like op city style stuff, like you just got to call them because uh, especially with those uh, referral ones, was it three, three to five people they get shared with? Something like that, two to five on average. And, you know, the trick with that is close the deals and they'll give you the better leads. Like that is actually the top secret. Like we've done it. <laughs> we know how the, the systems are simple because it's, that's how their business works. But God, this has been phenomenal. Thank you for sharing your top three secrets. Now I want to give you the floor. So if people wanted to reach out, whether they want to buy a sell in Philly, whether they want to hang out, whether they want to learn from you, join your team, whatever it could be, how can they reach out, whether it's phone, email, socials, website, you know, tell the people where they can find you. Uh, that, first off, thank you to you guys. This was awesome. I, I didn't really know what I was getting myself into, but it, it's amazing to like, just go all in and you know, trust trust this. So you know, it's funny, Peter and I you know, know a bunch of the same people and hopefully we could uh, we grab a beer at some point too, guys. But um, yeah, so I... I'm based in the Philly market. I service center city surrounding neighborhoods um, as well, like sub suburban areas as well. Um, my team is called I Love Philly Homes. Uh, we're the I Love Philly Homes team. You can follow us on Instagram. Um, we're based at a compass in center city. And uh, yeah, I mean, I do a ton of new construction development. So if anyone has questions about you know, new construction, anything at all, I mean, we're an open book. I'm, I'm always available. Happy to, happy to talk to anybody. So. Amazing. Gordon, thank you for sharing with us, everyone. We hope you've enjoyed listening to Gordon as much as we have having this chat. Thank you again. Thanks for everyone listening, and we will see you in the next one. Oh, and by the way, if you're interested in gaining access to our courses and coaching programs, then head over to go.eliteagentsecrets.com.